Hi everyone, I'm me, the Angel Fire, and welcome back as Flores to another mini Let's Play. And we are playing Aqua Creep, which is a spin off game by Suits and Nukes of Astro Creep. And uh, last time we saw what happened to Bob <laughs> after, uh, yeah. Well, we saw him in a, a, a very red place. <laughs> but, you know, what happens when the Astro Creep took over everything in the space station? That's what this game is going to answer. So I will be doing one playthrough. And, um, we'll go from there. <laughs> so, shall we get into it? Click here to begin. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Press A and D to swim. Oh, I want to go this way. I guess not. So, we're gonna see what happens. Oh, this is like a movie almost. Well, starring, starring Colin Hussey as Dean. Nice. Credits. Starring Elisa Park as Isabel. Ooh, I like that. There's a jellyfish in the background and a bunch of angelfish. Starring Scott M McDonald as Steve. Yeah. Scott McDonald as Steve. Ooh! Starring Danny Chambers as Rebecca. <laughs> Wonder what they thought about their roles. Starring Maddie Molly as Sean. Ooh! Yeah, I like this beginning sequence. You're swimming past the credits. Starring Nick Bean as Thomas? Starring Kim Paul as Trevor? What is this? Oh dear. Starring Ashley, I I ish well, I'm probably starring Ilya as Uma and I I would have slaughtered her middle and last name. Sorry. But I like the beginning. Music by German Kramer. Yeah, spooky underwater horror music. <laughs> so, what am I going to... Eh? 
and we are loading. Okay, so we're here. Our objective changed from what suit shift to run. Now, the characters in this actually do speak. So when they're speaking, I will actually not speak. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna think this is like an RPG. So our best bet. Talk to everyone. Ooh. Press space to talk to Thomas. Okay. Storm's definitely rolling in. Looks like it's gonna be a rough one. You need a hand with anything out there? Nah, I can take care of this. What are you gonna do? Okay. Well, I'm gonna change out of my wetsuit. Oh, out, out of this wetsuit. Ugh. I'm gonna change. I'm going to go change out of this wetsuit. Good call. Not like we can get anything done until the storm blows through anyway. Well, I better get my shit together here before it lets loose on us. My guess is it's gonna last all night. Maybe longer. Okay. So, the storm is coming. Time to run. Dive storage. Okay. Uh. Okay. So, Dean's locker was the first one. <laughs> We're just going to do it one playthrough. And, oh, wait. Is there anybody in here? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, laboratory. Wonder what they're working on. Well, we'll start with this one. Press space to talk to Isabel? Isabel, everything cool? I suppose. The storm is most inconvenient. The timing couldn't be worse. We were making excellent headway on the project, and now we have to put it all on hold to prep the facility before it hits. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do to help speed things up? Uh, hmm. The project will still be there after the storm. No need to worry yourself over it. What are you working on? Might be good to break away from it for a while. I hardly ever see you outside the lab lately. Actually, I'm curious. What are you working on? Currently, the Institute has been insisting we further research the local mollusks and sea snails in the area. Not terribly exciting on its own, I'll grant, but recent developments have been promising. That's all I can say at the moment. Look, I don't mean to brush you off or anything, but I need to focus on getting some things in order. I'll speak to you later, okay? Okay. Hmm. Oh, these must be the mollusks. <laughs> okay. And of course... <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I wonder what this could look like in Minecraft. <laughs> well, 
that's gonna have to be a different uh, question for later. Alright. Press space to talk to Steve. Hey Steve, what's a good word? Not a whole lot. But no news is good news, right? Heck of a storm brewing out there, ain't it? Ew. Back in Florida, we got used to the weather like this. Used to think it was great growing up when the schools were cl would close until we found out they just tacked the makeup days over your summer break. Ah! Uh, oh, maybe we should break out the booth and have ourselves the traditional hurricane game party. Okay. Let's do this. He's Dean sounds like a one of these people who don't doesn't really like to do anything they can help. <laughs> more of a party person. That's more or less the plan. As soon as everyone wraps up what they need to get done before the storm, I'm pretty sure we're all meeting in the rec room. Probably not Isabel. You know how she is. She'd rather do science by candlelight if you'd let her. Should be a pretty heavy storm. The radar was showing a lot of red. We'll be fine though. The Institute keeps our preparations pretty thoroughly stocked. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Alright, next bit. Ooh, crew quarters. Oh. Yeah, I'm not ready to head to bed yet. <laughs> Press space to talk to Rebecca. Sup, jerk. There you <laughs> are. I was worried I wasn't going to meet my asshole quota for today. Have fun playing Aquaman this morning. Okay, all jokes aside, did you need my help with anything? Yeah, it was okay. Need a new octopus? Think my current rig is cracked. <laughs> Think there's a spare in one of the lockers. We should be getting a fresh order of regulators next month. I'll put in for a new octopus as well. Hey, by the way, you heard the crew is meeting up in the rec room for the storm, right? I'll be the one getting drunk off my ass, so come have a beer with me later, okay? Alright. <laughs> Let's go see who else we can talk to. But I kind of think Dean and Rebecca get along quite uh, famously. Recreation Center. Oh. Wait a second. Let's talk to this guy. Hey man, how's it looking? Oh hey Dean, back from the dive already? Guess you heard we're in for some rain, huh? Yeah, a little birdie told me. Anything I can do to help batten down the hatches? Yeah, well, you know the drill. Aside from that, anything else going on? Figured Dark Clouds meant we were in for a hell of a party. Didn't want to miss out, so we called it early. Couldn't find any specimens to bring back anyway. The sea life was acting kind of weird now that I think about it. A couple of fish swimming upside down. Oh, that's weird. I mean, you know how it is, man. Animals act strange before a storm hits. My aunt used to have this parakeet that would chirp its head off all day long. Right before it rained, it would get real quiet and just kind of hunker down on its perch. Forecast says the main cell should be over us in about an hour or so. Guess we'll find out how built to last this place is. Oh, wow. Howdy, Chuckles. Howdy yourself. <laughs> Looks like we're in for a bit of a colorful weather, huh? You stuck for the party tonight? Uh, 
uh, a bit of a okay. I was actually all right. No. You know what? I actually am. Um, would be a would be good to cut loose for a bit. Can't work all the time, right? Or I think I'll probably take a little nap first. Don't know what it is, but I'm suddenly pretty tired. Okay. Uh. Tuckered yourself out on the dive, huh? Makes me think of when I used to take my chocolate lap down on the lake and swim his ass for hours. Afterwards, he'd crash for hours. Hey, maybe later I'll balance a treat on your nose, eh? But yeah, this part is gonna be rad, man. Everyone I've talked about is pretty and. Isabel seemed a little bummed, but I guess that's just because she'd rather spend the night with her sea snails. Hey, more alcohol for us, right? Okay. I know there's a lot more I could be finding out, but I kind of want to, yes, last bit, security room. Okay. Press space to talk to Uma. Hey there, Uma. What's cracking? Everything all right? You seem kind of twitchy. To be honest, I'm sort of wigging out a little. I've never been in a tropical storm before. Uh. Really? You've never experienced a serious storm before? Never. I was almost in Katrina back in 2005, but my husband and I evacuated before it hit. Looking back, it's a miracle we made the right call, but it's not just the storm. I just have this unnerving feeling, like something bad is about to happen. I can't explain it, like, there's the storm, but then, I don't know, this other feeling, like something isn't quite right. Okay, I think it's time for my nap. <laughs> So we'll see what is going to happen. And here is the crew quarters. There we go. <laughs> Objective, investigate screen. Uh... Alright. Let's go to the laboratory first. Isabel, can I bother you for a second? What do you need? Um, uh, I was... No. Okay, I was sleeping and I thought I heard someone scream. Did you hear anything? I'm not sure. I've been pretty wrapped up in my work here. I thought I might have heard something like a scream, but... I figured it was just the party or maybe just the storm. Now, you'll have to excuse me, Dean. The project requires my undivided attention. Okay. Time to go check out the party. Question everyone. <laughs> Crew quarters. And recreation center. Oh, wow. I hadn't noticed that. I'm sopping wet. Hey, Sean, come here a sec. Hey, buddy, what's up? Um... 
this might sound a little weird, but did you hear anything that sounded like someone screaming earlier? Did I hear any screaming? Of course I did. It's a bloody man. Everyone's screaming. Look, I'm screaming. <laughs> hey, never mind all that. How about you kick back and relax, huh? I remember, we're getting paid for this. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Is Hello, Wilma. How are you holding up? What, because of the storm? I'm doing surprisingly well. Uh. Okay. All right. I wanted to ask you did you hear what sounded like someone screaming earlier? I'm not sure what you mean. I've been here the whole time, and nobody's been screaming. But I gotta say, this has turned out pretty nice. Not often we're working and having downtime are one and the same. I'm having a pretty good time. That's good to hear. Hey Tony, right. can I bend your ear for a moment? You wanna talk? Sure. How you doing, man? Um... This might sound a little strange, but did you happen to hear any screaming earlier? Screaming? I mean, sorta. It's kind of a party if you missed it, know what I mean? Music blaring, people shaking it, getting drunk. I fucking love parties, man. <laughs> Anywho, sure beats work, am I right? Okay. Talk to Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca, I have to ask you something. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I was thinking I might have heard someone scream a little earlier. You didn't hear anything like that, did you? Okay, those two are real friends. Well, I think. A scream? Not really. I mean, the music is pretty loud. I can barely hear you right now. Come on, what are you waiting for? Grab a drink and join the fun! Okay. Uh, press space to talk to Steve. Steve, you got a minute? Oh, hey Dean. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to sleep right through the party. Say, you don't look very good. Are you sick or something? Um, I'm fine, but listen, I think I might have heard someone screaming earlier. Did anyone else hear anything like that? No, I hadn't heard anything like that. You said you were sleeping when you heard it. Could it be possible you had dreamed it? Maybe someone else heard what you were talking about. But I didn't. Sorry, look, why don't you try to enjoy the party? It's not every day the Institute signs our checks to kick back and relax. Okay. Alright. Talk to Trevor. Hey, let me ask you something. You didn't happen to hear someone scream a bit earlier, did you? Scream? Where did you hear a scream? Well, I'm not entirely sure if it was a scream. I was asleep when I thought I heard it, but it kind of sounded like it came from towards the equipment storage. Okay, listen close, man. I need to talk to you, but not here. Meet me in the security room. Don't tell anyone, and come alone. You got me? Trevor, you're kind of freaking me out a little. What's wrong? What are you? Shh. Not here. You walk out first and head over to the security room. I'll meet you there. Okay. Next objective, meet Trevor in the security room. Alright, this is kind of creepy. But, uh, let's see. You know what? I really kind of... Yeah, that's blocked off.
right. Here we go. Oh, I noticed the key change. Well, music change. Press face to talk to Trevor one more time. Okay, I'm here. Now what's this all about? Okay, listen. This is gonna seem weird. Crazy, even. But after what I saw, I really don't know how else to describe it. Jesus, Trevor, man, you look like you saw a ghost. What happened? I think I know, but I don't want to say it. Not until you've seen this first. Here, look. You see that monitor in there? Keep watching. Where is this? Dive storage? Wait a minute, who is that? Good lord, what the hell did we just see happen? Somebody just got attacked by something. Who and by what isn't exactly clear, as you can see from the video feed. But whoever it was, got back up and shook it off like it was nothing. Yeah, then it looks like they changed clothes and just left. You don't think whoever it was is still in the rec room with the others, do you? I don't think we can rule it out just yet. And just so I know we're on the same page, you agree. That was what it looked like, right? I mean, we both just saw what looked like some kind of animal attack somebody, and then that somebody getting up and leaving like nothing happened, right? I saw it, but I'm not sure I believe it. That's gonna have to be good enough, I guess. Here, take this. Wait, you're giving me your gun? Why? Don't worry. I keep a spare and some ammo in the security locker. I need you to have this, because you're the only one I can be sure is human right now. I could tell when you asked about the screams you heard in the rec room earlier. What do you mean, is human? I mean, between what you witnessed and what we just saw on the security monitors, somebody out there isn't who they say they are. You're telling me that someone in this facility isn't really a person? I don't think whoever was attacked is even alive anymore, Dean. Whatever that fucking thing was is now running around, pretending to be human, and nobody but you and me have any idea. Holy shit. What if there's more of these things? If that's what we're dealing with, then how are we supposed to know which one of us is really human? I don't have an answer for that yet. For now, keep that gun on you and look around for clues. Probably start in dive story. Maybe you can find something we missed in the video. This is nuts, Trevor. How can we be sure about this? I mean, fuck me, what if we're wrong? We'd be talking about taking innocent lives here. But what if we're right? You know we can't take that risk. Look, I need you on this one. Right now, it's you and me who got to protect the rest of our crew out there. We can't let word get around until we know for sure what we're dealing with. I'll head back to the rec room and cover for you. Find out whatever you can. And remember, not a word of this to anyone until we know who it was on that tape. Good luck. All right. Aim, right click, shoot, left click. Note, ammo is infinite. Oh, good. <gasps> Oops! Didn't mean to do that. <gasps> um, yeah. Uh, okay, so... I hope that, yeah, that was a mistake. <gasps> but at least now I know the gun works. Oh wait, dice storage. Might as well shoot everybody. <laughs> the shredded and bloody wetsuit. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit with this pattern earlier? Uh, that was 
was a different Wait. A shredded and bloody wetsuit. Who did I see wearing a wetsuit with this but, pattern earlier? Uh, good question. Something tells me uh, this is going to go well. Okay, that was the crew quarters. Um, yeah. that I saw was him. Okay, so I really messed up on this playthrough, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna have to do an actual let's play where we explore everything uh, from all possible uh, possibilities. Uh, I have a feeling there are multiple occurrences of people being taken through, taken over, <laughs> but I don't recall any other person actually being in a swimsuit, so, yeah, <laughs> but seeing as this seems to have been based very, very loosely on um, shall we say the thing, which was actually originally a book called Frozen Hell, but the excerpt, the movie the thing was based on, was the thing from outer space. And it was an open ended question of did they actually survive or were was the survivor actually infected yeah <laughs> either way i'm gonna leave you with this if you have been enjoying my content please feel free to leave a like and or subscribe you can also Leave a comment down below in the comment section. Be sure to hit the notification bell. Be safe, be healthy, and as always, be true to you. Mina Angel Fire, signing out.
Hellcat. Hellcat.